Thank you, Mayor. And now we would like to call on uh, George Ferguson, Mayor of Bristol. Thank you very much, uh, fellow mayors, friends. It's uh, wonderful to be here. And uh, I will try and take a minute and a half of my presentation time. I have, I'm an architect, so I need uh, visual representation because I think in terms of images. Um, so Bristol is that tiny dot on the tiny dot on the top of the map there, which is uh, the, it's the capital of southwest of the UK. And uh, it is a, a beautiful but very complex city. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a beautiful but very complex city. Um, it is. Uh, it's a new city. It's uh, less than a thousand years old. And um, as uh, it compared with some of the cities we've been listening to, um, and uh, it has a river flowing through it, and it has many natural advantages. It is surrounded by beautiful countryside. It's a very complex historic city. And I think it's very common to so many European cities that we have this very complex fabric around which we have to build our policies. So we don't have that, uh, that clean sheet, that, that, uh, that sheet that uh, Anna Laura talked about. But I want to create that clean sheet in terms of our policy. I think that is, is really important. We have a horrible history. These were how the slaves were laid out in the ships, going across to the West Indies. It was a triangular trade between Bristol and Africa, Ivory Coast, which is represented here, and, uh, and the West Indies. It's a terrible history, and it only ended in 1833, only a few lifetimes ago. And it gives us a very, very special responsibility as a city. It colors our city in so many positive ways. The culture of our city is enriched by the history of that terrible trade. And the, this is uh, my friend Miles, a Jamaican who sells uh, jerk chicken in my market and uh, is a, a wonderful character. And Bristol is enriched by that culture. But we're now trying to be the exemplary trading city. We are a global city. We always have been, small but global. And fair trade is really important to us, and we have now celebrating our 10th year as fair trade city, and this is the ninth international fair trade conference that happened only a couple of weeks ago in Bristol. We have 45 different religions practiced in, in Bristol. We have a Catholic cathedral a very fine modern Catholic cathedral. We have 190 people from 190 different countries speaking over 90 different languages. And we have brought in a huge number of, of we, we are a city of sanctuary. A huge number of people from North Africa and particularly from Somalia as refugees in recent times. And I believe very strongly they enrich our culture. Only on Saturday morning I was participating in the Eid ceremonies that are so important to a large part of our population. But this is our clean sheet. We are European Green Capital for 2015. And it's a really important stimulus for us to change. We won European Green Capital not because we're as good as Stockholm, not because we're as good as Copenhagen, not because we're as good as Freiburg that hasn't even been green capital, but we bring together civil society. We have 800 different organizations within Bristol, from our universities down to small food growing projects that are part of the civil society green capital partnership that enables us to be that green capital and to be determined and ambitious about the change. I believe that children are at the heart of that change. If we can't change the minds of children, we can change the minds of nobody. I have a collective noun for those who resist change, adults. It is very difficult to get people out of their cars. It's not difficult to get children out of their cars. It's not difficult to get them to plant a tree each. So I'm getting every small school child up to the age of 11 to plant a tree. And I want every city 
across the whole country, uh, across the whole world to get every small child to plant a tree. Brilliant education lesson. It holds back, it holds back uh, the desert desertification. It produces food, it produces medicine, and it's great for environmental education. And so I've joined up with an Australian charity. We're setting up our own energy company so that we can be much more in control of our energy. This is an illustration of one, one of the ways we're externally insulating uh, some of the basic housing in, in Bristol with a sense of fun. We like to do things with a sense of fun. I think if you're going to make change, you have to inspire people. It, you can't do it simply by um, lecturing, by, by lecturing to them. You have to involve them. And I thank uh, Anne Hidalgo for saying that we must lead by example. I've sold my car. I only go around by foot or by bike. Occasionally, I get on a bus, and I engage with people so much better. And I engage with people on, this whole uh, on the whole environmental agenda. This had a massive great highway running very strongly that we should turn our tarmac into grass where we can and into trees. And uh, it is difficult to imagine that this was part of the major inner, inner city highway, right in the middle of the city. And I want to do more of that. I've started a program called Make Sunday Special. Sunday should be special. It's not just about going to church. It is about communication. It's about family life. It's about social life. And we are commercializing Sundays. So I am fighting back the commercialization of Sundays. And what I'm doing is what I call opening streets to people. The traffic people call it closing streets. It is opening streets. We must change the language to a positive language in this change. It's very important. We have a hill that runs from the university down to the cathedral, to the Protestant cathedral. And, uh, and uh, we turned it into a water slide. These things engage with people, engage with people. We, we're now designing housing that is not reliant on cars. And, uh, and uh, as I said, we're setting up our energy company and investing in our own renewables. And we, I very much want to join with Vancouver and others who are now pressing for 100% uh, renewables uh, as, uh, as soon as we can. But what I do think is really important is that we're transparent about the measurement of our, of, of our achievements. And that's why I applaud such initiatives as the Carbon Climate, Climate Registry, which is doing just that. And I thank ICLE, I thank C40, and I thank UCLG for bringing us all together as cities, because together as cities, we can be a really powerful force. But that depends on the people pressing us. And I would just say to Bill Clinton, it's the people, stupid. And I say to Bill Clinton because he said it was the economy, stupid. But maybe more eloquently, William Shakespeare in Coriolanus asked the question, what is the city but the people? And it's the people that matter, and it's the people we have to protect, it's the people we have to engage with, and it's the people we have to bring with us if we're going to attack the issues of modern slavery and the environment. Thank you very much.